hello friends today in this tutorial we will be building a seo tool online in javascript html5 and php so the tool name is domain h checker so basically you will enter a domain name or a website let's suppose i enter my website codingsiksha.com and if i click on get domain h it will tell exactly how many years old this domain name is you can see codingsiksha.com is two years nine days old so similarly you can have any sort of website here let's suppose i put facebook.com enter and now you can see facebook.com is 23 years 190 days old so this is a very handy application in uh, seo so this is a very handy tool so you can take any example google.com let's suppose 23 years let's suppose i take github.com 12 years 361 days old so you can see if you enter a invalid domain name and there will be an alert box showing you please enter a valid domain name so this is a very handy application that i will tell you all the source code regarding this tutorial is given in the video description you can go to the video description and go to my blog here this is a blog i have written step by step you can download all the source code you can see it contains only three files two php files and one index.html file so let's get started by building this application i am using exam control panel for running the php code so let me just delete all the files and start from scratch so let me just delete this index.html and also this process.php so the very first thing that you need to do is that you need to make your index.html file which will be the starting point of the application. So we will have use some bootstrap for this for the interface part. So here I will include the CDN for bootstrap and jQuery and I will change the title to domain age checker in uh, JavaScript and PHP. And then we will have the container class of bootstrap. Inside this we will have a h1 which will appear in the center position. Text center is bootstrap class and here we will give the title domain a checker. So after this we will have a break tag and then we will have a simple form. We will attach an id to it so that we can target it inside the javascript. So inside this form we will have a input field. This is a form group class of bootstrap. Inside this we will have a input field of type text and we have given the form control bootstrap class and the placeholder will be simply enter domain name. And for the validation put a directive requ required and also we will give a id to it so that we can target its value in javascript domain and then we will have a simple button again we will use the form group class and inside this we will have button and we will attach these bootstrap classes to it btn btn danger and btn block and uh, the label will be simply get domain h that's it so now if i open my application you will see if i open localhost domain a checker you will see this is a simple form is ready enter domain name and get domain h so now simply what we need to do is that we need to uh, make our import our php class for which we are using it so we are using this php class so just just drag down inside my blog you will find this class domain age class so this is a business logic class so just create this class here in the same directory domain age class dot php and simply click the copy button to copy the code and paste it here that's it now after this guys we will use this class so first of all inside this after the script tag we will make a custom script inside this we will write the jquery code document.ready function so when all the data is loaded properly inside the web page we will target the form by its id 
so there is a submit method when the form is successfully submitted we need to invoke this method e dot prevent default to prevent the auto submission of the form now we need to get the domain name which the user has entered so we will make a new variable domain and we will get the domain name by val function which stands for value so which will get the domain for us so we can also alert the domain so whichever domain name that you enter let's suppose if i show you if i enter any sort of domain name let's suppose coding siksha click domain age you can see it is getting the value so now we are successfully getting the value now what we want we just need to make a simple ajax request so we will use the dollar dot ajax method of jquery here we need to pa pass some parameters which we need to pass method which, which will be post method and also the url will be simply process dot php this script we will create so you just need to provide the name process dot php and then the data so which data you are passing so we are passing the domain as our data and then there is a success method callback function which will execute whenever you receive data from the php script so we can just console log the data for now so this data will be received inside this parentheses now we need to create this process.php script this is a custom php file and right here put this uh, php tags and we will check inside the if block if is set is set basically it is checking if the variables are set here we will use the dollar post method since it is a post method we will pass the domain the variable which we have used inside index.html you will see we have used this variable as a domain so we are using it as domain here so after this guys we need to require our class which we have made require once so this class is a domain a domain age class dot php so after requiring it is it becomes very easy you will notice inside my blog i have also given the this code also if you drag down you will see this code after requiring it you just need to instantiate a new instance of it and this contains a age method inside this so if you just see we are instantiating a new domain age constructor and after that we are echoing out the age of the domain so we are passing the domain value and then it will return the age of the domain this is a age method here you can see and let me just rename this to require yes, so we just need to require it that's it so i think this completes the application so basically it will console log the data and now if i check here if i right click inspect and if i go to the console here and if i refresh here if i provide the coding siksha value you will see it will return this response to me 2 years 9 days now we simply need to display this result inside the html this is pretty simple after this form we will have a div tag which will have result as a div element now what we can do instead of console logging it we can use target this div and we will use the html method and here we will put backtick symbol and uh, inside this we will write the h2 heading the do the domain we will use the uh, variable here this is backtick symbol so we can use variables here so the domain is this much years old so we can use the data here old that's it we close the h2 tag and also this backtick symbol sorry this backtick symbol is already closed we can make this on one line and after this guys we can also clear out the value which is there after we print out this we can clear out the input value like this we can target domain we can change the value to nothing and now if i check here you will see 
coding siksha the coding siksha.com is 2 years 9 days old if i change to let's suppose uh, 99webtools.com you can see the 99webtools is 6 years 318 days old so this is a very handy application you can literally make a online website there are online tools like this that where you can just make your own website that uh, domain is checker dot uh, com and you can upload this php script and you can even make some uh, good amount of money because there are an online tools available such li like this so you can just purchase a domain name upload this php script and make money also so please like the video guys if you like this video and please subscribe the channel and for the source code you can go to the video description and download all the source code and i will be seeing you in the next video until then thank you very much